It's amazing. We are chasing this rhino. It is very, very difficult. He smelled us and he is running away. An aircraft is up here, monitoring the entire operation. The rhino will be darted using an air gun on foot. This means that we have to approach the animal at close range and this is really very dangerous. Rhino has come from Lewa Wildlife Conservancy, which is next door, due east of Borana. And there's a gap on the southern end in the Garandari Forest, and occasionally a rhino sometimes goes around and into Borana. Jamaica, Richard. Okay, got it. Okay, okay darts in, Michael, darts in. Keep it visual. Bravo one zero, Sierra Tango. Okay, darts in, keep it visual. Come left, Michael. Come left. I, I I'm not sure what directions we're going in. Is it running due south? Running due north, Michael, running due north. Under his left wing, just ahead of you. Under your left wing, just ahead of you. Did you copy that, Michael? Just going off the point of this Didn't get any of that. Michael, have you got a visual? Okay, he's got a visual, we're going to go back. Okay, so he says just follow the trail. Okay, thanks, Michael. You. Yeah, jump in. Okay. Dan, you better come in my car. Okay, yeah, I'll come in that one. We can drive Giuseppe, that. Giuseppe, yes, take that car, please. Yep. Take that car. This black rhino is called Sparta. It's a nine year old male. He was born on Lewa, but he he ended up going across the Garandari forest all the way back there where there's a gap onto Barana. Barana is the next door conservancy to Lewa. He really has to come back to Lewa and so today's plan was to catch him and, uh, and bring him back. And in order to do that we, you can see we had a large capture team, um, a rhino box, a tractor, a trailer, an aircraft in the air for surveillance uh, when the animal was darted so that you can find the animal where it, uh, where it goes down. And the animal didn't fall in, in a great place, you know, in, in, a, in a dry riverbed uh, with quite steep sides, so we had to drag the crate um, a certain distance in order to get flat enough ground to put it, in, to put it on, the, on the trailer. And really, apart from that, you know, it, it took a bit of time. It took longer than what we'd normally do, uh, normally take, but in these sort of capture situations, there are too many unknowns and so many things can go wrong.
but it's it's fine. It's now back on lower, and uh, we hope hope he stays here. Now the reason why he's moved is lower is uh, it's been a rhino sanctuary since 1983. We started with 13 rhino, and now we have 116. And the space on Lewa is not enough. And we've been talking long and hard with uh, Barana, our neighbours, and they are very willing to open their land for rhino conservation and to have it a, a, a continuation of this ecological area. This time in a year, if a rhino goes across to Barana, there's no need to bring it back, which is fantastic news. It's fantastic news for, for us, for rhino, um, and for all the wildlife.